Musical nationalism refers to the use of musical ideas or motifs that are identified with a specific country, region, or ethnicity, such as folk tunes and melodies, rhythms, and harmonies inspired by them. History As a musical movement, nationalism emerged early in the 19th century in connection with political independence movements, and was characterized by an emphasis on national musical elements such as the use of folk songs, folk dances or rhythms, or on the adoption of nationalist subjects for operas, symphonic poems, or other forms of music Kennedy 2006. As new nations were formed in Europe, nationalism in music was a reaction against the dominance of the mainstream European classical tradition as composers started to separate themselves from the standards set by Italian, French, and especially German traditionalists Miles N. D. More precise considerations of the point of origin are a matter of some dispute. One view holds that it began with the War of Liberation against Napoleon, leading to a receptive atmosphere in Germany for Weber's opera Der Freischutz and, later, Richard Wagner's epic dramas based on Teutonic legends. At around the same time, Poland's struggle for freedom from Tsarist Russia produced a nationalist spirit in the piano works and orchestral compositions such as the fantasy underscore on underscore Polish underscore airs underscore Chopin of Frédéric Chopin, and slightly later Italy's aspiration to independence from Austria resonated in many of the operas of Giuseppe Verdi Mockley's 1979, 125–26. Countries or regions most commonly linked to musical nationalism include Russia, Czechoslovakia, India, Poland, Romania, Scandinavia, Spain, UK, Latin America and the United States. Poland Jan Stefani Jan Stefani composed the singspiel Kud Manimani, Chili Krakowiasi i Gorali, the supposed miracle, or the Krakowians and the Highlanders, which premiered in 1794 and contains Krakowiks, Polonaises, and Mazurkas that were adopted as if they were Polish folk music by audiences at the 1816 revival with new music by Karol Kurpinski. Goldberg 2008, the suggestive lyrics of many of the songs could scarcely have been interpreted by the Polish audiences at the verge of the outbreak of the Kosciuszko uprising as anything other than a call for revolution, national unity, and independence Mileski 1999, 129-30. In this sense, despite his obscurity today, Stefani must be regarded as a precursor and founder of 19th-century musical nationalism. Frédéric Chopin Frédéric Chopin was one of the first composers to incorporate nationalistic elements into his compositions. Joseph Mockley states, "...Poland's struggle for freedom from Tsarist rule aroused the national poet in Poland examples of musical nationalism abound in the output of the Romantic era." The folk idiom is prominent in the mazurkas of Chopin. Mockley's 1963, 149 to 50. His mazurkas and polonaises are particularly notable for their use of nationalistic rhythms. Moreover, during World War II, the Nazis forbade the playing of Chopin's polonaises in Warsaw because of the powerful symbolism residing in these works. Mockley's 1963, 150. Topic: Stanislaw Moniusko (1819–1872). Stanislaw Moniusko has become associated above all with the concept of a national style in opera. Moniusko's opera and music as a whole is representative of 19th-century Romanticism, given the extensive use by the composer of arias, recitatives, and ensembles that feature strongly in his operas. The source of Moniusko's melodies and rhythmic patterns often lies in Polish musical folklore. One of the most visibly Polish aspects of his music is in the forms he uses, including dances popular among upper classes such as Polonaise and Mazurka, and folk tunes and dances such as Kujawiak and Krakowiak. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Henrik Wienowski 1835 to 1880. Henryk Wienowski was another important composer using Polish folk melodies. He wrote several mazurkas for solo violin and piano accompaniment, one of which being the popular Obertas in G major. Topic: Russia. Topic: Mikhail Glinka (1804–1857). Topic: The Mighty Five. Topic: Czech Republic. Topic. Bedrick Smetana 1824 to 1884 Smetana pioneered the development of a musical style which became closely identified with his country's aspirations to independent statehood He is widely regarded in his homeland as the father of Czech music He is best known for the symphonic cycle Ma Vlast My Homeland which portrays the history legends and landscape of his native land Topic: Antonin Dvorak 1841 to 1904. After Smetana, he was the second Czech composer to achieve worldwide recognition. Following Smetana's nationalist example, Dvorak frequently employed aspects, specifically rhythms, of the folk music of Moravia and his native Bohemia. Dvorak's own style creates a national idiom by blending elements of the classical symphonic tradition and extraneous popular musical traditions, absorbing folk influences and finding effective ways of using them. Dvorak also wrote nine operas, which, other than his first, have librettos in Czech and were intended to convey Czech national spirit, as were some of his choral works. Leos Janáček 1854 to 1928 Topic Bohuslav Martinu 1890 to 1959 Martinu is compared with Prokofiev and Bartok in his innovative incorporation of central european ethnomusicology into his music he continued to use Bohemian and Moravian folk melodies throughout his oeuvre, usually nursery rhymes, for instance in Otvarani Studenik, the opening of the wells. Topic: <laughs> Norway. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Edvard Grieg, 1843 to 1907. Edvard Grieg was an important Romantic era composer whose music helped establish a Norwegian national identity. Grimley, 2006. Topic: <inaudible> Finland. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Jean Sibelius, 1865 to 1957. Jean Sibelius had strong patriotic feelings for Finland. He composed Finlandia. <inaudible> Sweden <inaudible> Hugo Alvin <inaudible> Studied at the Music Conservatory in his hometown, Stockholm. In addition to being a violinist, conductor, and composer, he was also a painter. He is perhaps best known for his five symphonies and three Swedish rhapsodies. Romania George Inescu 1881 to 1955 
George Enescu is considered Romania's most important composer Malcolm and Sandu Dedio 2015. Amongst his best-known compositions are his two Romanian rhapsodies and his violin sonata No. 3 in Romanian folk style, Op. 25. Hungary Topic Bela Bartok, eighteen eighty one to nineteen forty five Bela Bartok collaborated with fellow Hungarian composer Zoltán Kodály to document Hungarian folk music, which they both incorporated in their musical pieces. Stevens, twenty sixteen. Topic Zoltán Kodály, eighteen eighty two to nineteen sixty seven. Zoltán Kodály studied at the Academy of Music in Hungary and had an interest in Hungarian folk songs and would often take prolonged trips to the Hungarian countryside to study the melodies which were then incorporated into his music compositions Anand, 2014. <laughs> Spain Isaac Albanez 1860 to 1909 Topic Manuel Defaya 1876 to 1946 Topic Enrique Granados 1867 to 1916 Granados composed his work Goyescas 1911 based on the etchings of the Spanish painter Goya. Also of a national style are his danzas españolas and his first opera Maria del Carmen. Topic: <laughs> Joaquín Rodrigo 1901 to 1999. Topic: Joaquín Torina 1882 to 1949 Topic Mexico A nationalistic renaissance in the arts was produced by the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920 Álvaro Obregón's regime, inaugurated in 1921, provided a large budget for the Secretariat of Public Education, under the direction of José Vasconcelos, who commissioned paintings for public buildings from artists such as José Clemente Orozco, Diego Rivera, and David Alfaro Sequeros. As part of this ambitious program, Vasconcelos also commissioned musical compositions on nationalistic themes. One of the first such works was the Aztec-themed ballet El Fuego Nuevo the New Fire by Carlos Chávez, composed in 1921 but not performed until 1928 Parker 1983, 3–4. <laughs> Manuel M. Ponce Manuel M. Ponce was a composer, educator and scholar of Mexican music. Among his works are the Lullaby La Rancherita Scherzerino Mexicana composed in the style of Sones and Wapangos, Rhapsodia Mexicana, No. 1 based on the Jarabe Tapatio, and the romantic ballad Estrelita Carlos Chávez 1978 Carlos Chávez was a Mexican composer, conductor, educator, journalist, and founder and director of the Mexican Symphonic Orchestra and the National Institute of Fine Arts Some of his music was influenced by indigenous Mexican cultures. A period of nationalistic leanings initiated in 1921 with the Aztec-themed ballet El Fuego Nuevo the New Fire, followed by a second ballet, Los Cuatro Souls the Four Sons, in 1925. <laughs> Brazil <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Carlos Gomes 1836 to 1896. The most representative composer of Brazilian Romanticism, Gomes used several references from the country's folk music and traditional themes, chiefly in his opera Il Guarani <laughs> Francisco Mignoni Mignoni incorporated folk rhythms and instruments into his suites Fantasias Brasileiras nos.1-4 (1929–1936), his Twelve Brazilian Waltzes (1968–1979), Kingada (1921), and Babalaxa (1936), besides composing ballets based on major literary works from Brazilian literature. Topic. Hyder Villa Lobos (1887–1959). Villa Lobos traveled extensively throughout Brazil in his youth and recorded folk songs and tunes that he later used in his series Bachianas Brasileiras and all of his coros, amongst them his coros number no. ten, subtitled Rasga o Coração, after the song with words by Catulo da Paisão Cirantes and music by Anacleto de Medeiros, which Villa Lobos quotes in the second half of this choral orchestral piece, which employs native percussion. United Kingdom <laughs> Joseph Perry Perry was born in Wales, but moved to the United States as a child. In his adulthood, he travelled between Wales and America, and performed Welsh songs and glees with Welsh texts in recitals. He composed the first Welsh opera, Blodwyn, in 1878 Edward Elgar Best known for the Pomp and Circumstance Marches more 1984. Charles Villiers Stanford (1852–1924). Stanford wrote five Irish rhapsodies (1901–1914). He published volumes of Irish folk song arrangements, and his third symphony is titled *The Irish Symphony*. In addition to being heavily influenced by Irish culture and folk music, he was particularly influenced by Johannes Brahms (White N.D. 205). Alexander Mackenzie 1847 Mackenzie wrote a Highland Ballad for Violin and Orchestra 1893, and the Scottish Concerto for Piano and Orchestra 1897. He also composed the Canadian Rhapsody. In his life, Mackenzie witnessed both the survivals of Jacobite culture, and the Red Clydeside era. His music is heavily influenced by Jacobite art. White and Murphy, 2001, 224 to 25. Topic: Ralph Vaughan Williams, 1872 to 1958. Vaughan Williams collected, published, and arranged many folk songs from across the country, and wrote many pieces, large and small scale, based on folk melodies, such as the Fantasia on Greensleeves and the five variants on Dives and Lazarus. Vaughan Williams helped define musical nationalism, writing that, The art of music above all the other arts is the expression of the soul of a nation. Vaughan Williams, 1934, 123. United States Topic <inaudible> Aaron Copeland 1900 to 1990 Ironically Copeland composed Mexican music such as El Salon Mexico in addition to his American nationalist works Piston 1961-25 
Horatio Parker (1863–1919). Edward McDowell (1860–1908). McDowell's Woodland Sketches, Op. 51 1896 consists of ten short piano pieces bearing titles referring to the American landscape. In this way, they make a claim to McDowell's identity as an American composer Crawford 1996, 542. <laughs> Charles Ives Ukraine In Ukraine the term, ''music nationalism'' Ukrainian, Muzichny nationalism was coined by Stanislav Lidkevich in 1905 The article under this title is devoted to Mykola Lysenko who is considered to be the father of Ukrainian classical music. Ludkevich concludes that Lysenko's nationalism was inspired by those of Glinka in Russian music, though Western tradition, particularly German, is still significant in his music, especially instrumental. V. Rybovsky assumes that Stanislav Lidkevich himself could be considered a significant nationalistic composer and musicologist thanks to his numerous composition under Ukraine devoted titles as well as numerous paper devoted to use of Ukrainian folk songs and poetry in Ukrainian classical music Inspiration by Ukrainian folklore could be observed even earlier, particularly in compositions by Maxim Berezovsky (1745–1777), Korny (1998), 188, Dmitro Bortniansky (1751–1825), Korny (1998), 296, and Artem Vidal (1767–1808), Korny (1998), 311. Seaman Hulik Artemovsky (1813–1873) is considered to be the author of the first Ukrainian opera, Zaporozhets za Dunayem, premiered in 1863. Lysenko's traditions were continued by, among others, Kirillo Stetsenko (1882–1922), Mykola Leontovich (1877–1921), Yakiv Stepovi (1883–1921), Alexander Kashets (1877–1944), and later Levko Revutsky (1889–1977). At the same time, the term nationalism is not used in Ukrainian musicology see for example Yutsevich 2009, where such term is missing. Moreover, the article, "'Music Nationalism' by Ludkevich was prohibited in the USSR 2009, and was not widely known until its publication in 1999 